so it's Sunday morning and we're starting off the day here. You see my plate with the fabulous homemade bagel. And that is a nice way to start the day. Hubby's already bit into his. What, what does I, it taste like? I tore it apart. Oh, try like, it. I'm not going to catch us on camera like because we're in our pajamas, but. It is very doughy. Yeah. Feels like it could be cooked a little bit longer, I think. Okay, so we did 23 minutes. The recipe said 20, so. Yeah, I mean, you can see that it's still doughy inside. Uh huh. So. What does it taste like? It tastes good. Yeah. So we'll be trying this again, I think. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to dig into my bagel. I'll good morning, be back. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning, January 20. Yay. 22nd. I thought it might be. I didn't want to speak if I wasn't sure. Um, anyway, it's Monday, January 22nd. I'm in some workout clothes because I'm headed off to physical therapy. And I am loading a video, a little short tutorial for one of, a member of my design team really quick before I leave. It's tw taking its sweet old time loading. Ugh, I need to leave. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's working and because she's having trouble with iMovie um, and I do want to walk to therapy. I want to get some steps in, so I'm going to do that. And I have a um, few channels on here on YouTube um, that I'm helping out today um, also so with their watch time. And um, I gotta catch up on laundry and I wanna make a few fun journal pages just for me, no cameras. So I'm gonna be working on all of those things um, today. Maybe a trip to the grocery store, although I don't know, I guess late last night there was a drive-by shooting at the grocery store where I take y'all and I go shopping. Um, yeah, that's different. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see. All right, I will be back. Therapy's all done. My shoulder hurts and it's drizzling. Hmm. Let's go home now, I think. All hey right, I'll guys, be back. how are you? Ah. Oops, sorry about the windshield wipers. Um, hang on, there we go. All right, so we're headed out. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to go get the mail. I need to put gas in my car, my little lights on. much mail just a little bit I do have a load of purge stuff in the back of the car I should probably drive it over to donation on my way home it's literally right across the street so let's go do that shall we this is the back of our local thrift shop the Goodwill so we're gonna make a donation good morning it is Tuesday, January 23rd, I believe, maybe, pretty sure. Um, I, it is about 9.15ish, and um, my neighbors are being stupid. Anyway, <sighs> um, I am headed out to go brave the grocery store. 
the one where the drive-by drive -by shooting happened. The whole neighborhood's in shock because we don't generally have any crime even close to that. I mean, we have crime where, you know, every place in the world, excuse me, <laughs> every place in the world has thing to do to ride your bicycle around in circles in the middle of the street when cars are coming. I, I don't know where to go with that. I really don't. I wish I'd caught it on camera, but I got the camera facing the wrong way. I don't understand people. It's 619. The husband will be home soon for dinner, hopefully. And I wanted to just do a quick update. I made some more bagels from the bagel recipe that we did on Sunday. I'm going to include the link to the recipe in the description below. It's a two ingredient recipe. Um, it is self rising flour and yogurt, basically. Um, the, there's a lot of different kinds of directions of ways that you can cook them. And if you guys, I encourage you to experiment with the recipe and try what works for you. I discovered for us that I needed to skip the whole boiling thing because if I boiled them, they look more like bagel pancakes and they're still like sticky inside. They're not cakey or bready enough for what we want. So I didn't boil, I did one batch trying boiling them longer, cooking them longer, like they still came out like that's one of the ones from that batch. Um, if I skipped the whole boiling thing altogether, then much better but I didn't make the hole quite big enough so it looks more like a bagel muffin but anyway I'm still working on it but it looked much better so without I recommend not boiling it but try it for yourself I did make some with uh, blueberry yogurt instead of just plain and no seeds on top I did eat one like right away it was really good so it was non-fat blueberry Greek yogurt so anyway <sighs> trying to be healthier which means I have to cook more damn it <laughs> at least occasionally all right that's it for the moment I'll be back <laughs> Actually, good afternoon. 
It is Wednesday, January 24th, I think. And uh, anyway, it is Wednesday. Um, <laughs> I am headed over to the post office. The weather looks a little iffy. I probably should drive, but I haven't got my steps in yet today. So I'm gonna walk. I do have one box I need to ship out, but it's not too heavy. So I've got it in a grocery bag and it's over my arm. And I'm carrying it. So we're gonna head, sorry about the weird camera angle. So we're gonna head over to the postal place. And then when I get back, tomorrow's garbage day, pick up day. So I need to empty all the household garbage cans and get all that out. Nothing exciting. I did spend a couple hours this morning uh, packaging up some new stencils that came in for inventory and doing inventory on the stock that we have in and um, getting some less, uh, listings already drafted so I can just hit publish um, when the time is to release them for sale. So anyway, and uh, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. happen too often but I can't say I'm sorry that box wasn't heavy but by the time I got over here it sure did feel like it was so anyway Mary it's off to you by the time everybody sees it she's probably already got it but anyway I'll be I think back it's a probably a good thing I'm almost on the way home is it just me or does it look, look like it's gonna storm any second yeah you hear the what sounds like a barking horse Let's see. If I walk this way, he'll bark more. Hear that? <laughs> He's the sweetest dog, but my neighbors have a great Dane. He barks at everybody. He's huge. He's very sweet once he figures out you're a nice person, but he's gigantic. And then they have a little, little dogs trying to keep up. My dog, of course, is like... He doesn't bark anymore unless it's the gardener, you know. Good morning, everybody. It is just before 8.30 on Thursday morning. I am getting ready to go over to physical therapy. I've got to drive across town. I accidentally ran across some family tree information and a bunch of random papers from my grandmother who died quite a few years ago now I think about four years ago now uh, we're still coming across bits and pieces of paper she's you know stuffed in books that we, one or more of us hung on to and anyway one of those random little pieces of paper um, written all in Italian which I can't read most of it um, looked important so I it had names on it I recognized from the family tree so I did a little bit of Google Translate and what little bit Google could translate because they either spelled it wrong or it was in a dialect it didn't recognize or something um, just made it sound more and more important to the family tree so I took a picture of it and put it in a, we have a family Facebook group private for family only and I put it over there and immediately my aunt uh, my dad's sister came on and said don't do anything with that piece of paper <laughs> so anyway it is important I'm taking it over to her house this morning she's going to add it to the other papers she has and hopefully we're going to be able to fill out some more of the family tree so I'm going to go do that after physical therapy this morning and I I'm not sure what else I'm going to do but uh, anyway I'll bring you with me and We'll see what happens. All right, I'll be back.
therapy is all over. We are going to head over to, um, it's cold in the car, I'm sorry. We're gonna, I'm going to head over to my aunt's house and drop off some stuff to her, family tree stuff. And um, we might stop by University Art while we're over there. I don't really need anything, but we are over on that side of town and it's one of the only or very few we don't have that many fine art supply stores in San Jose we only have a couple of them and University Art really is the one um, there's another one called I think it's called Arsenal I never seem to get in there because whenever I go by it it's closed so I don't know but um, let's go to University Art I don't really need anything but let's go walk around and yeah let's go to my aunt's first all right I'll be back okay hey guys I just wanted to show you this cute little neighborhood here in San Jose near the Rose Garden and I love this neighborhood I wish we could afford a house here and not go into debt up to our eyeballs which at this stage in life is not where we want to be uh, it's we couldn't afford this neighborhood when we bought our house that we have now and that hasn't gotten any better. <laughs> um, I, I shouldn't say that. We could afford it, but we'd have a mortgage. And it, we're trying to not have a mortgage. So anyway. But it is the cutest neighborhood. If I could afford a house here, I would stay in San Jose. Because I love this neighborhood. Anyway. Alright. We are off to the next place. I'll be back. I'm going to take you on a little drive here. Um... We're gonna go over to University Art. We're gonna see a little bit more of the neighborhood. And so yeah, let's go for a little little bit of a ride. I didn't get any footage walking around inside, but I did buy a few things I'll share with you on camera. I didn't get too much. I don't need too much. Um, they did have free samples of Quar watercolor. So these are sample cards with a piece of paper inside. And they have just enough to do a little uh, painting in. So they had this. And then they had a couple of booklets. One on the Quar watercolors. And one on the Liquitex Cadmium Free Paints. Um, for those that don't know, cadmium is a toxic material and it is in some paints. Um, Liquitex, among others, have started making paints that are similarly pigmented without the cadmium. And I have been wanting to try them. I have the cadmium ones at home in my bin of artist paints. And I've been wanting to try them, um, but I didn't really want to mail order them. They had them here in a small um, two ounce tube. Um, this is cadmium free orange Yeah, and this one I got cadmium free red medium and cadmium free yellow deep Which I th I'm pretty sure those are all colors. I have in the regular paint at home so I can compare and then um, art graph 
I have some water soluble graphite by them. I know I do. I wasn't aware that they made these other little cakes in other colors. And so I got, they're kind of pricey. So I got only two of them. I got the ochre, which looks like this. And then I got the dark brown, which looks like that. So that'll be fun to add to my water soluble graphite collection and play with those. So I didn't get too many things. That was pricey. It's a pricey little bag, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the moment. I will be back. Good morning. It is Friday, January something. <laughs> I think it's the 26th. I'm starting to lose it, people. <laughs> I have to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. And I went the wrong way. <laughs> So we are off to go pick up the mail. Forgot my sunglasses, it's a little bright out. everybody it is Saturday morning January 27th and we as you saw just got done donating blood I'm drinking some water we're at a shopping center my husband's got to do some banking stuff for his Masonic Lodge and yeah I'm not all up into that so I'm gonna actually walk over and go to Barnes & Noble and pick up a couple magazines and then I think go around the corner of the shopping center and upstairs to Bed Bath & Beyond and pick up a couple things I need there too so be back.
folks, that was Muji, the Japanese department store. We have one here in San Jose and yeah, I hope you got some good clips there. We got some gel pens and things to try and of course I had to get a bag because you know, yeah, got to get a bag, see? Oh, wait, got a bag. Got a bag. All right, so now we're going to go see if we can find some place to eat lunch. Yeah, we'll just walk around. Or just walk around or something. I mean, Avoid the screaming so, homeless people. Oh, so, yeah. San Jose Museum of Art. This is where we normally have the ice rink in the winter. And what? Oh yeah, KQED. That used to be... It's our uh, local public broadcasting station. That used to be the Mercury News. Yeah, not anymore. I wonder where they went. And this is the Fairmont, right? Back side of the Fairmont. Back side of Fairmont. And we just got told by a homeless young man to go have an effing good day. So, yeah. So we're gonna go do he that. He didn't use that word, by the way, but I am because I don't want to have to edit out the audio. We're gonna have an effing good day. We are. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Here's some prettier bits. Hey guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and you've had a great week. It's been fun for me too. Fun fact, I'm filming this week's vlog closure on Sunday morning because after donating blood, donating blood and running errands, um, yeah, we were just dead for the rest of the day and I forgot. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. I will put any relevant links in the description. If I forget, somebody remind me and... Um, yeah, anyway, it, it, it was fun. I really love Muji, by the way. I can't wait to go back. There are a few things that um, I'd like to go back and take a second look at, and there's another one in Palo Alto, I think, at Stanford Shopping Center, which isn't too, too far away, so I might have to make a trip. All right, that's it for now. Don't forget to have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. I have new content every week. And that's it for right now. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.